Hi guys, welcome back to Tennis Time with Tony. On um, this video, I want to talk a little bit about directional control. Okay? Now, remember this key concept here. The longer the ball is on the strings, the more control you're going to have. Now, with that being said, I want a nice, elongated stroke all the way through my ball. Essentially, I want to be pointing out to my target. I want to drive my shoulder through my shot and extend out to my target. Remember, the longer the ball is on the strings, the more control you're going to have. Okay? Now watch. I'm going to do this first ball down the line. Okay? I extend out to my target. Same thing if I want to go cross court. I'm extending out to my target. Okay? Now, a lot of people can say, what about the topspin? Right? I see that was very linear. A lot of the, today's game is played with rotational force. Well, I'll tell you what. We're not going to come up here and the second we make contact, slap at the ball. Okay, that's an improper use of topspin. If I just slap at it right away, it's going to go short. Okay, in another video, we're going to talk about depth control. But let's stick uh, with directional control right now. Okay, now we're going to add the topspin at the end. You will see, even if it's not close stance, you will see the open stance. I'm still going to drive my shoulder and extend out to my target, even though there will be heavy topspin and rotational force, okay? So let's say I go down the line here. I'm set in the open stance. I'm still going to extend, even though I'm rotating, right? You saw the rotation, the big looping swing, as opposed to linear, but I'm still driving my shoulder through my shot. Okay, guys? This has been uh, Tennis Time with Tony. Look for more videos. Thank you very much.